Got one? That was perfect timing. Back. I haven't even got my scenic shot done yet. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Ooh, it's not a bad little rainbow. Oh, nice. Got him. Nice. That is biggest by far so far. That is a dandy looking fish. Right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect. Nice. Ready to go. See ya. All right, clearly we're in South Carolina right now. I mean, go Tigers. Okay, so it is uh, about 7.30. We're gonna have light till about 8.30. And uh, we're up here in the mountains, not far from Wahala, trying to get into a couple trout here. And as you can see, look, that folks is not pretty. There has been an absolute ton, and I mean a ton of rain. We heard six, seven inches of rain last couple of days. Um, so fishing obviously isn't very easy right now. Um, you know, and they, they haven't stocked this section from what we're told in several weeks. So we decided to come down here last hour of the day and see if we can get bit. Um, we don't know how successful it's going to be simply because none of us have ever fished this section of river before. All right. Yeah. Conditions are not ideal. And guess what? I'm from California and Mike is from Washington. So, you know, we don't have a lot of uh, expertise in the South Carolina mountains. However, a trout is a trout. And knowing that, oh, is that a bite? I think we just missed one. Might not have any bait, but knowing that, we're using our trout tactics to see if we can be successful. Um, he got you, he got you. So we're gonna show you what we're using today. Mike has what I believe is garlic salmon egg fire bait. It's got some good color to it, as you can see. Kind of stands out pretty well to that dark, dirty water. So that's, that's what I'm hoping for is to to, you know, put something a little brighter in the water to help them see it. And obviously with the uh, garlic salmon egg, they're gonna smell it first. I'm just making them a little, little fire bait ball. Just inserting the hook in there, like so. I like to leave that point of that hook just kind of exposed. That way if it's a, if he's really just barely nipping on it, we can try to get a hook in him. Ooh, we got him. Oh, guess what? <laughs> That was a rockfish. <laughs> we don't, you don't always catch trout, but South if it if it pulls, you set the hook. You know. <laughs> Anyways, when you're fishing these kind of conditions, and the water is as muddy as it is right now, you got to have something that's got a heavy scent to it. Okay, they're not going to be able to see it from far away. Right now, our visibility is probably only about six inches, and with it being six inches, you have to have something with a lot of scent to it, which is why he picked garlic salmon egg. You can smell this garlic from a long ways away, and uh, Given we only have about less than an hour of light here, trying to put as much scent to the water as we can and catch a couple of trout. 8.15, okay, so we're racing time right now and uh, wasting nothing but poor conditions. And that's not an excuse, that's reality. I think most people would have come here today, saw these conditions and turned around and went home. Um, not only is this river extremely high, uh, much higher than, than it's used to be in, but it's also extremely muddy, as you guys can see here. Uh, you got a bite? Yep. Oh, he got him. Look at that. So that's why we're here. Remember, what's the limit in South Carolina? Five trout per day. That's number four. And our goal was, can we come here tonight and catch and release a limit of trout? That's a brown trout. Catch and release a limit of trout, really, in the last hour of light. And uh, look, we're headed there. We got one more, and we'd be done. But that's a brown trout. Beautiful little brownie. And we're gonna let him off and get him home. All right, just getting another bait ready after catching that nice little brown. Just like I've been doing in this uh, brown water. Same thing, just putting a good size uh, glob of garlic salmon egg on that hook, trying to leave that hook point exposed. And just putting a shot probably, oh, about six to seven inches below it. And what I'm doing is I'm just free drifting it. Those weights are just tapping along the bottom and the, and the fire bait is just like so. It's just hovering just above the bottom, right in those fish's face. And we're working a tail out here. Tail outs are always good for uh, trout fishing. That's, you know, where a lot of the, the bug life and everything, everything collectively flows towards the tail outs. 
So that's why we're kind of trying to concentrate our efforts. Never been here, but, you know, we, and it's pretty easy to pick out a tail out. We got the boulder garden right below us. And so it all, typically always shallows out, usually in front of a big boulder garden. So that's why we're kind of trying to, you know, spend our time concentrating our efforts here. And it helps too, we're seeing some fish rise. So uh, you know, give it a go and see what happens. You know, we're, we're always adamant about um, pound test and downsizing your gear and that kind of thing. Uh, tonight is not one of those nights, okay? When, when the river is this dirty <clears throat> and visibility is this low, uh, it really doesn't matter if you use two or four pound tests. You can get stuck with six, you can have eight. It's not that big of a deal, okay? Um, that's, one, that's the only plus about basically using, uh, uh, you know, murky water to your advantage. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's late. You know, we have less than an hour to film this episode. We didn't even think we were gonna come out here today, you know, but, you know, to be honest with you, we filmed in Georgia today, like we said, and we travel over 300 days a year with Potsky Outdoors to, to film. And one of my favorite things about coming to South Carolina is going to the Pompous Pig. As you know, those of you that have been to the Smoking Pig, or the Pompous Pig, no, those are two of the best barbecue places in the country. Everybody knows about the Smoking Pig, you know, but the Pompous Pig is, is in Anderson, and it's kind of a little secret, uh, partially because it's got a poor location, but I, I told the guys, listen, we're going to the Pompous Pig before we go fishing. So we had a decision, you know, do we want to come back out here and film a little bit, try to catch a quick limit, have a little fun? And, and we decided to do so. So we're gonna to try to get one more uh, before it gets too dark to fish. It's about dusk right now, probably about 8.30. Um, let's see if we can get one more to catch and release a limit. And the best part about it is we're not locals. So we've never even been here before. So if we can come down here and under high water, dirty water, poor conditions, catch five fish, anybody that wants to come out here and trout fish and uses bait like this can have the same success we can. And pulled right underneath your feet. I have no idea what kind of fish that is yet. Eh, it's looking like a rainbow now. Yeah. I see the dark tail. Rainbow, got some color to it. <clears throat> a little backwards in size, but uh, you know, we'll take them. This kind of conditions, this kind of conditions, you'll take whatever you can get. It's not bad, it's actually pretty fat. Good looking. Nice markings on that guy. All right, so that's it. Garlic, salmon egg, fire bait. That's the only thing we even needed today. Uh, and as you can see, we almost used a full jar here uh, in about an hour's fishing. We got some of them, some of them got us, but uh, what a beautiful evening to trout fish here in the South Carolina mountains. All right, well, we've got good news and got bad news. The good news is we caught four. The bad news is we didn't catch number five, but Considering they haven't stocked this place in weeks and, and all the other things you've already heard us talk about, we're happy. We're glad we came out here, had a great time, and guess what, South Carolina? We're going to be back. <laughs>